Hello Aries, so I'm coming to you guys with a love reading. Um, this will be a general love reading for the sign of Aries. It, this will not resonate with everybody, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Do not try to force the message to fit. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, so first and foremost, I am just going to pick up what I am channeling. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who um, this person does want uh, to come forward to you guys. Um, they are struggling to come forward to you guys. I'm getting that this person has tried several times to, um, it's like they're getting, they're like writing a message, then they're deleting this message before they send it to you. Um, because it's like, no, 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 this, this just doesn't feel right. They're just like really trapped in their head, um, about getting this message to you. It's just like, they can't find the right words to send, um, the right words for the message that they want to get across to you so um some of you guys have someone in your past that does want to reconcile with you they just can't find the right words to say at this present moment um they're very nervous about reaching out to you to the point where it's like making them nauseous and sick to the stomach um so if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And I'm really picking up like this is your person's energy. It's like if this person could do anything, um, they would have you back in their life. The issue is that they're trapped in their mind. Um, they're not allowing their heart to take the lead. Um, their mind is the one in control, taking the lead, and that's why they're stuck where they are. So, <clears throat> all right, spirit, let's get to the message. That's just for some of you guys. In my, and you, I'm telling you guys, uh, okay, soulmate. So, yes, you guys, this is your soulmate. Some of you guys who are dealing with this person. Um, some of you guys, you guys are calling in your soulmate. And when this person comes in, you're being asked to make sure that you guys aren't open, overthinking this connection. That you guys um, think what you're, <laughs> you guys allow your heart to take the lead. You guys aren't over um, thinking this connection. You guys aren't being analytical. You guys allow your um, emotions to, you guys feel with your emotions. Of course, think about it, analyze the situation, but allow your emotions to um, participate as well. Release your ex. So some of you guys do have um, a past energy that you guys need to release as well. Um, the time has come to clear your uh, energy. Let's see. This could be the one. Some of you guys, your ex could be the one. It's just that you guys, you guys have been, you don't trust your ex, your ex. But after you guys have heart to heart conversations with this person, things will change around. nothing. Give me some more. There we go. Give me more regarding this situation. situation. X, breakup. Yeah, so this is definitely somebody that you guys are in separation from. Um, you guys are currently giving this person the silent treatment as well. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, um, working on it. So, um, let's see. 
karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So this is someone that you look at as a karmic, um, that it was a karmic relationship. Um, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. But I'm getting that there will be growth in this relationship um, and it will turn around for the better. Yeah. You guys saw this. Let's see. Let's go on to the messages and see what comes out from Teroy. 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 I cannot. I'm not even going to try. Um, I'm just not speaking clear today. Or shuffling. Okay, that's it. I'm not taking this. <clears throat> So you're looking at this situation because it was a lack of stability. You really just you feel like there was a lack of stability. This person, you don't see this person as being able to to, uh, to provide stability um, to this relationship. You feel like this person um, just you feel like they jump into situations too fast without thinking. They have just like this irresponsible, um, they're irresponsible. And you feel like you have to keep your guard up regarding this person. You can't trust this person because of their lack of, um, responsibility and instability it's it, it's like you're looking for um someone that you can have stability with something that's going to lead to marriage and you don't see this from this person because you look at this person as they're too immature to give you what you're looking for that's why you're looking to release your ex and you're calling in a different soulmate this person is seeing you as like, you're not trying to communicate with them. You're just turning ice cold towards them. Um, they don't, they know that you're not trying to build on this relationship with them. And then, but yet this person is like spying. They want to see what you're up to because they're, I mean, they, they're really hoping that if the opportunity is presented that they're hoping for an opportunity to be to be presented um so that they can take the chance to come um near you but at the same point it's like every chance that they get it's like they just can't find the right words to say so it's like they chicken out they just are too afraid to open up because they know that you're, yeah, you, I mean, you look at the situation as it's just not worth your time anymore. You look at the situation as it's just like a dead end and it's something that you need to just walk away from. And you have, you've done just that. You walked away from this situation. <clears throat> you're done with this person and you walked away from this situation. Your person, they're not seeing it that way. Yeah. Yeah, you don't look at this person like they're they're not they're not worth the sacrifice. Um, and it, it's like they don't make you happy. This is not something that you want to invest in. They don't make you content. It's it's not worth you sacrificing or investing in. So you just walked away from this. Um, you don't plan on returning to this relationship at all. You don't want to invest in it. It's not worth your time. Your person, however, they definitely want to come back towards you. They just don't know how to um, come back and communicate in order to resolve this conflict between the two of you. 
they know there's a lot of um, tension. They don't know what to say. Yeah. It's, it's like they're trapped. Um, they're trapped. <laughs> They, they feel like they're just trapped carrying the weight of this uh, load. They don't know how to proceed forward. And it's just like, they feel like this is just unresolved. Um, they can't move forward. They feel just like way down. Um, and they don't feel like they can move forward until they can have a conversation with you. And it's like, after they have a conversation with you they can see where your mind is at or at least you know even if you you tell them that you don't want anything to do with them then it's like fine at least they know that they can just close the cycle out but it's like if they never have communication with you then it's like they cannot proceed forward it's like they can't you know fully close the cycle out they need to they need to have closure regarding this situation You, on the other hand, it's like you don't need closure. You're just fully done with this situation. You're like, this person is just, they're too immature. They can't bring stability. Um, you feel like you barely got out alive the first time. Yeah. They don't know how to balance things out. There's a lack of balance. You, I mean, you feel like they're deceptive as well. You can't trust them. I mean, you just don't look at this person. You, you know that this person, um, can't let this you know that this person has not released this uh situation you know that this person plans on coming back around but at the same point you know that um you don't it's like when they come back around you feel like it's not like you're going to believe anything that they have to say anyways but the thing is, is that this person does plan on, it's like they plan on using like all of the power within them to come back and justify things between you and them. It's like they plan on making things right between you and them. And they'll use every all the power within them to make things right between the both of you. Yeah. It's like they want to show you. They want to show you this different side of them. They want to show you like how generous, how... I don't know it's like what this person did before that made you look at them in this immature um it's like because you're looking at this person like they just are the most immature um they're not stable at all it's like you can't trust them they're sneaky it's like and they just can't let this situation go not only that, it's like, I mean, you're also saying it's like they don't know how to balance their finances. It's like, what's the, it's like, it's, it's no point of investing in this person at all. It's like, it will be a complete waste of your time. And this person is looking, it's like, they reflected back on this relationship. They learned their lessons. Now it's like they want to use every. It's like all of their power within them to manifest this relationship back 
and it's like they want to show you you know how they have matured into this person and I don't know how long you guys have been apart but I mean this person is now showing that they are the king of pentacles and they want to show you it's like they're a completely different person now and they want to bring justice and balance and it's like I'm saying like in their future this person is like I know you know what to say how to say it you know how to get my point across it's like they're financially stable now it's like they learned from their past um actions you know how to proceed for not just in a relationship but in life in general it's like they've learned you know how to um what actions they need to take in order to gain what they want out of life and part of what they want to gain not just financially but in love is you You got twin flames compromise uh and you know what uh because i had started your reading before and i had to stop because like i just really felt this person's energy and i had i literally had it um outcome it's like the results conclusions and then we'll get a resolution yes it's like you guys are you guys have this fear it's like, don't allow your fear to get the best of you. This person will come in. It, this person is definitely coming back to offer you um, a higher level of commitment. They're not coming back to play around. You guys are allowing your fears to get the best of you. Um, and you guys are looking at this situation from like the worst point of view as possible. And it's just so you can protect yourself. Um, but... I'm getting like your message is to compromise with this person. I'm getting that this is your twin flame. And that you guys will actually get um, the, co uh, the outcome that you want instead of the outcome that you guys are fearing. Because you guys know that this person is actually way better than what you guys are... Um, portraying you know this person to be you guys know that this person is um your soulmate and the release your ex is like you guys need to release like that past version of this person that you guys have in your mind now some of you guys um i'm getting like you may have like a new person coming in um, and you have this, you're manifesting this King of Pentacles into your life. But because you had to, yeah, this person wants to come together and offer you a relationship. They're afraid that you're not going to accept them back. But it's like, yeah, because, but I mean, this person is. Yeah, they've been trying to um, write, and now I'm seeing this person like writing, erasing. They don't know what to say, the right thing to say. But when this person comes back, I'm getting, because um, you guys saw that twice. It's like they want a long-term commitment with you. They want to reconcile. It's like they feel crushed right now way down and that's why i was literally picking up on your person's like 
energy and I'm like literally I just have to keep like I still feel it it's just like that's why like I'm reading and I'm just like at, like you can hear it in my voice it's just like drained I'm barely I'm just, I'm just like dragging through your reading and this is normally your person is like energetic energized but it's like this is someone um your person is like I'm not getting like they don't have their finances together I'm getting this is someone who chose their finances over a relationship because I'm getting this is someone who has their finances together actually and they just chose their finances over being in a relationship they actually did not want a commitment in the past and so you were like, I'm not about to fight for someone who's not, um, who doesn't want to fight for me. You looked at this person as like a playboy who were, or playgirl, somebody who was playing around. And so you felt like, well, I just need to release this person. But you still felt like this was your soulmate. You still felt like this could be the one. But it was like, I just need to release them because, I mean, if they're not um, coming after me, then I can't hold on to someone who doesn't want me. But yeah, this person has been holding on to you all this time. They just don't know what to say. They're ashamed of their past actions. They don't want you to look at them the way they, um, they don't want you to view them for, they don't want you looking back and viewing them the way they acted in the past because that's not how they truly were. That's how they acted in fear. So, I'm going to leave this here. This is what I have for you, Aries. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. Thank you.